Canadian News recently visited the beautiful city of Seville to report on the final assembly line of Airbus military light and medium products. Mr. Ricardo Rojas was kind enough to show us around and illustrate the various steps of the manufacturing process. He starts by explaining the history of the company. Okay, our, our company is uh, part of the history of this uh, city, of Seville. Uh, we started uh, many years ago in uh, uh, all the different uh, facilities. What was changed a lot is uh, the way of doing the aircraft, uh, the new techniques, the innovation, and even the facilities. Okay, we have started in other uh, facilities located in another part of the city. Today we are located here in a very modern facility with uh, new techniques, with uh, great innovation, and this is for me the great, the great change that we have suffered in this area. Uh, okay. Are the majority of the workers from the town of Seville? Yes, uh, for sure. Uh, I would say that 95%, 99% of the people is uh, they are from Seville, they are uh, working here, they have the family here, everybody is from Seville. What are the manufacturing processes before uh, all of the various components arrive at the final assembly? Okay, we have uh, a lot of components coming from every part in the world, okay? Uh, we have components coming from Indonesia, for example, Chile, Turkey, and uh, Portugal, the most important. And uh, all the components are manufacturing in uh, local companies, uh, in Andalusia region, uh, in Sevilla, uh, and even in Cadiz. Okay. Please tell us about the different configurations available for the various platforms. Okay, we have uh, in this aircraft, one of the main characteristics is the uh, flexibility of the aircraft. Okay, then we, we can have the typical transport configuration, maritime patrol configuration, anti-submarine, and uh, even in the uh, maritime uh, configuration, we can have uh, different, uh, let's say, configuration having uh, a deep water for the USA, for example, another configuration for the Portugal uh, Air Force. Uh, in that kind of uh, configuration, we, we can have even differences in between them. With the increasing sophistication of all these various models, how is the FAL evolving over the years? Well, the, uh, the people here are involved in that, all the innovation that we are performing. In fact, uh, most of the uh, proposal uh, for innovation, are uh, the origin is located here. Uh, we are in the final assembly line, uh, the people who test all the, the main components, the, 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 the main uh, equipment, accessories, and uh, most of the modification innovation are originated uh, in, our, in our final assembly line. Mr. Roca, can you walk me around the final assembly line, show me the various uh, modules? This is for the, uh, to follow or to track the everyday activities, but even in every station of the final assembly line, we launch every year different improvement projects. Okay? At the same time that we are seeing in the, in the line all the KPIs related with it uh, in a daily basis, we can also find which are the uh, improvement projects that we have launched uh, during this year, which is the process, how the people are involved in this, uh, in this project, which are the uh, success that we are uh, having with this uh, with these new uh, projects, okay, mm -hmm. them is something that you can see in all the different stations. It is very important for us the participation of the people. Okay, this is uh, something that we consider is very very important for us that people can participate in any project that we launch. That people need to be engaged in the process, and uh, this is very uh, important and critical for us. As you can see. Everything is in the right place, very close to the uh, station, in order to be uh, more productive. So this, is, this is the station where we perform all the tests. Mm -hmm. uh, once we finish, uh, we send the aircraft to the fly line, where we perform all the tests that should be done outside. Mm -hmm.